Right, a few questions for you. Do you like a Forge Golf Club? Yeah, well I'm ticking that box. Do you like a nice shiny chrome finish? I'll be ticking that box. Do you like a smaller, more compact profile? Ticking that box. Where are we going with this one? And do you like a bit of tungsten weighting to help you out a little bit? Yeah, I like that as well. Cobra have just given me an iron. It's the Forge Tech, and I'm dying to find out what this is like. We've seen, it's got some similarities. It looks a lot like a couple of things we've seen already, but this is their version of the foam injected irons, the hollow bodied irons, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to see how it performs in the hands of an average golfer. Yes, we've seen a number of irons, hollow body construction, with uh, injected with all kinds of different things. I don't know what Cobra have put inside of these, but we'll find out. I'm already bothered either, because I'm interested in performance. Uh, these kind of irons have been pretty much, we've seen it from Ping, we've seen it from, uh, we've seen it from Mizuno, HMBs, we've seen it from the P790. Um, they're very much the in thing, if you like, at the moment, in terms of the construction of these clubs. And in all fairness, in my opinion, they've performed very, very well. And they're very good for average golfers who want a smaller type profile, but a bit of assistance in a, uh, and, and a bit of help as well. So this is the Forge Tech. Cobra have pretty much done exactly what I've just said, thrown in a bit of tungsten in there as well. Strongly lofted-ish, 29.5 degrees in terms of the seven iron. How does it fare? How does it compare? We'll soon find out. I'm gonna hit some golf balls and you'll get the opinion of an average golfer. Right, now this is by no means a head-to-head -head video and I'm sure it will lead to that in the, uh, in the days and weeks ahead. But for the time being, I am going to look at three products which are very, very similar indeed. Uh, we've got P790, and when I say look, we're going to visually look at them, we're not going to test against them. We've got P790 I've put up on screen, MP20, and you've got the King Forge Tech as well. And like I said, they've got a lot of similarities. They're all using uh, a bit of high polished chrome with a bit of that matte finish as well. And like I said, they're... I th there's certainly tungsten in the P790. I'm not sure about the HMB. That's my product knowledge, not fantastic. Uh, but they're all hollow bodied and they're all injected with their own little magic formula to make these play a little bit better. The things I want to have a look at that interest me from a personal perspective, and like I said, I've just uh, brought these in front of me now, is to compare them in terms of visual size because this is a, a it's not a blade, it's a muscle back as they call it, Cobra. But how does it look and compare with the other two that I've got in front of me now? Sole width is thinner and narrower than the P790, and it's probably along similar lines of the HMB. Next thing I want to have a look at is top line, because these are the things that are all important for the player that perhaps might consider these. P790 is by far the thinnest top line, and then it's very close between the other two, the uh, King Forge Tech and the HMB product. So you've kind of got a little bit of a little bit of both mixed in and it depends what you want from them and I'm going to put those down as well in terms of heel to toe and profile overall the P790 would be that little smaller and compact but again it very much depends on what you're looking for from uh, your iron at address anyway let's put that one back in a minute or two but in terms of this club I think it looks fantastic like I said I love a bit of uh, high chrome and I love that matte finish I think they've done a fantastic job and I think the other thing to consider is between those other two products we've just looked at that the Forge Tech comes out far more favourably in terms of price and that's something that Cobra have done a fantastic job on in the last 12 months of bringing high quality product out but at a very good price for the consumer. I think it looks fantastic uh, at address like I said it's got that sort of nice balance between the top line is what I would call medium if you like the sole unit is nice and thin and the overall profile sits really nice behind the ball. There's not a lot of offset there and it's a very, very playable iron. And I think for players of a number of handicaps and a number of capabilities, this is going to appeal to them. Uh, enough said, like I said, 29.5 degrees in terms of loft. So it's a stronger lofted iron. I just, the next thing I just want to quickly talk about is how it feels and sounds. Because to me, when you're going into this forge category, and you go into this hollow body construction, I think this is where there's a big differential, which will, for me anyway, uh, give it a yes or a no in terms of which one I'd prefer if I was gonna buy this type of product. As 
it's a decent ball and a decent sound again it's always difficult the one thing I can't do uh, I don't think it ever relays back is I don't think you can pick up on on sound uh, quite the way you, uh, that, that, that I'm obviously feeling um, in here and there's a slight echo in the building as well um, so not the same as when you try them out there on the fairways that was a a bit matty in terms of the ball. The ball's still going out there. I've hit balls off camera. It's performing really well. It looks like I said the 29, it flights nowhere near as high as what the HMB did. It certainly is a lower launching ball. And I think, again, that comes from that sort of stronger loft. It's going to be right up there in that 170 category. And I know you can hear the noise. It's a really good ball. That's right down on the target line. It's come right out the middle. It's a little bit sharp. Um, it's always a thing for me, the hollow body construction and then this forged hollow body construction. They're a long way from being a forged iron. And it has got a very, very similar, that little bit of a click in the sound that you hear in the P790 as well. But overall, the performance of it really seems to me as though it's bang on a button in terms of number. And um, we'll have a look at them very, very shortly. There's not a great deal more to say about it. I think for me... Um, in terms of the other two products, what would I prefer visually? That's where you're going to be swayed a little bit. What would you prefer out of the sound of the other two if this is the category that you're looking for? Because I think numbers-wise, it's going to do very, very similar. So I'll carry on hitting some golf balls. I'll get that data, and then we'll do uh, an overall evaluation when I see their numbers. But I think that's where we're going to be looking at. Now, as I often say, it's easy to drag these uh, reviews out, but it's very much uh, very straightforward, in my opinion. You've heard what I think in terms of looks and feel and sound and I think many of them things are going to be down to the individual in what you personally like but in terms of my numbers here they are up on screen for you now and I think again in all honesty we'll go through them one by one but I got a fair um, evaluation in terms of the number of shots that I hit it was very very consistent in terms of ball speed the spin number again probably where a 5 eight, almost touching 6,000 spin with that kind of loft on a 7-9 I think is a really good number 167 overall in terms of carry, but I think barring one shot, which was the third down at 161, which had a massive impact on it, they were so tightly packed in between that sort of 167, 172 region. Bang on a button again. The only variables in there are down to my ability and my strike. Um, I mean, a quick reference. Did I find it as easy to use as... Um, and when I say easy to use, what does that mean? But as easy to use as the T-rail. And the T-Rail is a, is a video that I put up last night, and that's their kind of crossover, hybrid to iron type of club, that bulbous looking club. And no, I didn't. It was not as forgiving. It was not as easy to use. I certainly knew when I had these off-center hits, uh, where you see that drop off of 161, that was quite a big difference from the 170 odd ball. You, you can feel the difference, and there is no way you're getting the same kind of sweet spot that you would in that kind of club, which again begs the question, why would ever go to these things? But, um, you know, it, it did exactly what I expected. Even the launch, what I was seeing, to be fair, 17 on average launch, but you can see, uh, I don't know, we've got three or four balls there in about 15 degrees in terms of launch angle. It was launching a lot lower, um, more penetrating ball flight, totally different. And again, what is it you're looking for? from ball flight what do you want from uh, the shots that you uh, you're, you're looking to play 93 peak height and a fairly steep land angle as well so the ball is stopping it's got a decent spin number on it and it's not been greatly affected by that strong loft overall assessment really good club really well priced club is it my favorite amongst the hollow body designs probably i don't think it is no i think just slightly on that feel element and sound uh, and again i'd have to play all the clubs together that's the bit that i wasn't 100 percent on i think it's the one thing where this idea of a forged hollow body it's by no means the forged club that we are used to associating in terms of feel and sound from a truly forged club and no that's not the case in my opinion either in this forged tech iron but like i said it's one man's opinion pretty irrelevant the important thing is if you if you're in that category in terms of there the what we mentioned p798 gmb this has got to go into the equation and if you like it and it ticks all your boxes then you're going to save yourself a few quid because it's certainly priced at a lower price point again so hats off to Cobra for doing that and they've got a really good well finished product as well right as ever thank you for watching uh, comments down below and uh, I look forward to seeing you all very very soon